हेलो गाइस सो इन दिस वीडियो आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट पोलिटीन क्रोमोसोम्स और सेलिब्री ग्लैंड क्रोमोसोम्स सो विदाउट एनी डिले लेट्स मूव टू द वीडियो सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दैट व्हाट आर द टॉपिक्स दैट विल बी कवर्ड इन दिस लेक्चर सो फर्स्ट आई विल डिस्कस अबाउट दैट व्हाट इज अ पोलिटीन क्रोमोसोम देन हिस्ट्री ऑफ पोलिटीन क्रोमोसोम देन स्ट्रक्चर फीचर्स फंक्शंस एंड फाइनली द इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ पोलिटीन क्रोमोसोम विल बी कवर्ड इन दिस लेक्चर so first what is a polyteen chromosome so polyteen chromosomes are the large chromosomes that generally have thousands of dna strands and these chromosomes they have longitudinal strands which are called as chromonemata or chromonema as you can see here these are the strands which are called as chromonema or chromonemata so here polyteen means many strands so this chromosome has many strands so that's why it is called as polyteen chromosome so now why these chromosomes are so large in size so actually these chromosomes are large because they just duplicate but they do not separate so as a result they just become large and these chromosomes they are visible in the interphase so normally the chromosomes are best visible in the metaphasic stage but these chromosomes these polyteen chromosomes they can be visible in the interphase due to their large size so now history of these polyteen chromosomes so these chromosomes were first reported by balbiani in 1881 in the salivary gland of the chironomus mis larvae and these chromosomes are also found in the salivary glands of dipterian species like drosophila melanogaster larvae etc so due to their presence in the salivary glands these are also called as salivary gland chromosomes next is the structure of polyteen chromosome so here this is a polyteen chromosome it has five long arms and one short arm as you can see so here there is a part that is chromocenter so this chromocenter is formed by the fusion of centromeres of all the chromosomes so where all the chromosomes they fuse that portion forms the chromocenter and the arms like the chromosome 1 which is the x chromosome so it is the longest arm of this chromosome and it has two arm of the chromosome 2 that is chromosome 2 right arm and the chromosome 2 left arm similarly it has two arms of the chromosome 3 that is chromosome 3 right arm and chromosome 3 left arm the shortest arm is the chromosome 4 beside this it has a structure in which the two homologous chromosome they separate out so that structure called a synapsis and this is the external morphological structure of this chromosome if you look deeply inside this chromosome so here is a structure of part of this chromosome under the light microscope as you can see this is the structure under the light microscope and this is only a part of this chromosome so here you can see some stripes so these stripes are the bands so it has light bands as well as dark bands so these light bands they contain the active gene so you can say they represent just like u chromatin while the dark bands they just act like heterochromatin they do not have any genes and these chromosomes or these bands they just swollen up which forms puffs or the balbiani rings so these puffs or the balbiani rings are the site of rna synthesis so this is about the structure of this polyteen chromosome next features of polyteen chromosomes so features include as i told bands so these chromosome have strips which are called as bands and sometimes these bands got swollen or expanded so these are called as puffs next feature as i told puffs so these are the swollen region of the chromosome these are also called as balbiani rings and these are highly active in the site of rna synthesis next they are giant in size as i told these are the giant chromosome their size is generally 200 times or more than the normal chromosome next is the functions of polyteen chromosome so function include like gene development 
so these polyploid chromosomes they undergo the endo replication which leads to the development of specific gene sequence so this development is allowed for the increased production of protein and meets the high metabolic demand of the certain cell so these chromosomes they help in the development of genes then regulation of gene expression so this bending pattern on the polyploid chromosome they are associated with specific genes that help in the regulation of the gene expression so the chromosome they show swelling which are called puffs which represent the highly active transcription region next the storage of nutrients so in some cases these polyploid chromosomes they may function as storage mechanism for essential nutrients needed during the specific development stage or the environmental conditions next the importance of these polyploid chromosomes so why these are so much important so they can use for the gene mapping because the visible bending pattern it allow the researchers to locate and identify the specific genes along the chromosome very precisely next important that chromosomal organization because the bending pattern of these chromosomes it gives a detailed view of the chromosomal organization so we can easily study the chromosome organization by visualizing or by studying these polyploid chromosomes the cellular processes means the various processes they can also be studied by these chromosome like the presence of dynamic region which are known as puffs in the polyploid chromosome they indicate the site of active transcription so these puffs they help to understand the cellular processes and the responsiveness of the genome to external factors understanding endo replication so as i told the process of endo replication it leads to the formation of these polyploid chromosome so this unique mechanism it helps in understanding the cell cycle regulation and how the cells undergo the dna replication without division can also be studied by these chromosomes so this is all about the polyploid chromosome guys so see you in the next video till then take care